The question was, did I have issues with audio drift? Uh, yeah, no, because I did my homework. Uh, and yeah, at the time I shot this, it's all that was shot in 30 frames per second, the Canon 30 frames per second, not 2997. So uh, the process um, was having to take my audio and reduce the speed to 99.9% .9 so that it would sync up with my audio and then work in that world. You don't have to worry about that anymore. There's firmware update. Now I shoot my 5D with at 24, 23, 23, 98. Um, so there's no audio drift issues, and it's much easier to sync. I did dual system audio. I, I use an H4N mini recorder, which I saw someone had on the, on the desk back there, which was amazing. It's a, you can record up to four tracks on it. It's got XLR inputs, quarter inch inputs, inputs, as well as a stereo mic, which was great for me because I was recording live bands. Sometimes I'd take a feed through the board, sometimes I'd take the feed through the board, and then also do live sound and use all four tracks. And then I'd also sometimes run a wireless into it, or I'd, um, I'd also use a Rode mic uh, mounted right on my camera for a good, nice reference and a backup audio, as well as uh, recording from my Audio Technica long shotgun into my, uh, my little device that I could then sync up in Final Cut. And I didn't have a, anyone doing slights or anything, but there's this great software called Pluralize that if you're recording dual system audio, and that's, I see people, everyone raise their pens, plural is in like more than one, and eyes is in eyeballs, pluralize, it's fantastic software, that will actually, um, you put your, your, your footage into one uh, timeline, put your audio into another timeline, it will look at the waveforms and automatically sync it up. And that was a huge time saver uh, for me.